All right. <laughs> so like I said, that could have. Oh no. This is very bad. This is another player online who just invaded my world. This is very bad. Oh, and he has a... Yeah, I'm gonna die here. Definitely gonna die here. And I'm clicking. I accidentally left clicked instead of right clicked. Oh, got a backstab on him. <laughs> Look at how much damage a backstab did. I'm so screwed. Alright. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. At least he bowed. <laughs> so yeah, anybody who hasn't played Dark Souls before, that is an actual nether, uh, like, real-life person who is playing online. And he just invaded my world while I was trying to explain what was going on. <laughs> and obviously he killed me, considering I am deprived and I have a little dinky dagger. But let's go collect this. Oh, I just realized I'm not... I got to uh, go back in first person. It's a bit annoying. Every time you die, you have to reuse the uh, binoculars to go back in first person. But, I mean, it is like a hack. Anyways, before that guy rudely interrupted, <laughs> I was going to say I fast traveled back here after I almost died. And I think I got everything down there, for now at least, that I can get. I got everything behind me, basically, from this point on, so far. Uh, there is something. I can go break this door up here. And I think I get the white soapstone. Or maybe, I think it's a small white. I forget what it's called, but it's only like a, you only can be summoned as a shade. This guy's a... Oh, he has a lot of health. See, I thought I almost killed him, or I thought he was gonna die in like three hits, but because I can barely see his health unless I look up at it, <laughs> it's kind of hard to do that. Hand axe. Oh, wait. I think I remember that being really good. If I can wield it. Why am I wielding three items here? Let's head in. Let's get rid of that. Remove. Okay, so I only need 9 strength for that, so I should be able to get that. And it's 120 damage. That's the most damage I can do right now is that axe. So if I can get... Oh, I have a shield. I have a shield I can equip. It only does... 60% damage reduction to normal attacks, but I mean, it's better than nothing. Um, so yeah, next time I actually, maybe I should head back now. Let's re-equip my broken sword. Alright, let's go, um... Alright, equipped my sword and my shield. Open up this. Alright, after I open these couple chests up here, I'm going to head back to... Majula and level back up. I wonder if I can small leather shield. I wonder if I can equip that Let's try that Yes, I can um, And it's better pretty much all around except for magic damage All right, there we go. So now I have a shield and a sword or a broken sword <laughs> and I should be able to level up to maybe use that hand axe because it does 120 damage and I only need 9 strength so I should be able to use it. So what is this? Uh, Estus, another Estus flask and a small white soapstone so I'll have to use that maybe to help myself level up. <laughs> Basically in this game soapstones are for going to other worlds. Um, the white soapstones are for going to other worlds to help people. The... oh, I don't know if I... I didn't know if I was gonna make that. 
the small white soapstone is just for like helping other people for a few minutes and the large or normal white soapstone is for helping somebody fight a boss so you'll get um experience for helping people fight bosses and if you're hollow oh i could buy another hand axe so i could dual wield hand axes if i wanted <laughs> probably won't but but yeah um if i'm like i'm hollow right now because i died so i'm like a zombie um and if i help somebody defeat a boss i'll actually become unhollow i won't be hollow anymore and then i'll become human again and i have full health but I need to buy this key that I just bought because that's for the blacksmith back in Majula. I do want to buy that lockstone eventually. But we'll do that later because that's 4,000. That's quite a bit. I probably should buy... Oh, I got one of these already. I do need one of these for... Um, later on there's a shortcut that you need one of these. Or you don't need, but it's a lot easier if you have one. But for now, let's, uh, I'm gonna head back to Majula, level up some stuff, and, uh, hopefully be able to use that hand axe, or maybe the fire sword used, uh, I had to have, uh, more, didn't I? Let's, uh, go back in first person. Uh, I think the fire axe needed more levels. Bearer of the curse. Seeks. What are you? Oh, okay, that was bad. That was very bad. <laughs> I was attempting to level up and I accidentally just smashed her in the face with my sword because. Bearer of the curse. Because I don't. I'm not used to these Seek controls, so. apparently. Seek the king. Lest this land swoop. Hopefully, she. Like, heals when I leave. I don't want to do that. Is the king's castle. Um, Where hopefully she like whatever. heals and doesn't continuously be angry at me. I'm trying to level up. Because if I hit her again, she... I think she'll become angry at me and then I can't level up anymore. I don't know. I've never killed her before. Basically, uh, in this game you can kill any of the NPCs. <laughs> or most of them. I don't think you can kill the cat and maybe a few other ones, but... You can basically kill any NPC, and if you kill her, I don't know how you'll be able to level up, or if you'll have to. Basically how it works is, um, you have to spend souls to talk to them. So you're basically spending your experience to be able to talk to a character, and if you had to spend souls every time to level up, just so you can level up, that would kind of suck. I don't know what else I want to level up. I know strength, obviously, to 9, so I can use a hand axe. Maybe more health? More health would be nice. More endurance. And adaptivity, ad adaptivity if I can even say it, is always kind of a nice, because that's like rolling. Or like dodging. And poise. Which is nice. That's like if you get hit by a heavy enemy, you don't get staggered. And then basically, like, resistance to like everything bleed, petrify, curse, and poison. But that's kind of like one of the later skills. I kind of want more health, I guess, would be good for now. And maybe more, yeah, vitalities later, attunement. I don't know if I'm doing magic yet. Intelligence and faith are also magic, sort of. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do strength, endurance, and vigor for now. And then maybe some adapt later. So let's confirm that. And hope she forgives me for <laughs> hitting her in the face twice with a sword. It has a broken sword, it didn't do that much damage. Alright, let's equip that axe. Alright, so I'm leveled up a little bit. I've equipped my new equipment. <laughs> and I think I'm ready to go. Um, I think I've done everything up here, so I'm heading down this ladder, right? Don't think I forgot anything, but probably did. Who knows? Let's just head it down here and see where we're going next. 
I know this guy comes to life, so let's get rid of him. Yeah, my axe... I took quite a bit of damage there. My axe definitely does... Damn it. <laughs> my axe is a lot better um, than my little sword. My little dagger I had. I didn't really show too much how much better it was there, but... Considering how I lost... It's weird having to look up at the health bar. <laughs> Ooh, that doesn't look very comfortable. Are you alright there? Yeah, he's stuck there. Uh, yeah, pretty much lost half my health there. Just from three pretty easy enemies. But we'll keep continuing on. And hopefully not do that again. Alright, does does this make any sense to you guys? Look at there's hollow infantry gloves and hollow soldier gauntlets. And these ones actually look like gloves if you look at the picture there. Well these ones are just like a tattered cloth. And apparently this tattered cloth here is better. Look at the stats over here. 26, 24, 27 to 22, 22, 21. So somehow this tattered cloth is better than those actual gloves. <laughs> but I don't care. I guess I'm just going to wear those ones. Let's head through this mist. And if I think if I remember correctly, I got to I don't know, maybe he comes to me. I know this area is kind of a pain. If you do the whole area part because you can just go straight up this log here if I just head straight. Or you can head to the left, and there's quite a bit of stuff over there, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, the guy gives you two uh, key- Oh, I didn't realize there's two of them. There's a guy over there who gives you a key to his mansion back in Majula. And I'm pretty sure there's another Estus flask in there. So I am going to attempt to head over there and do that. 